another team out of Berkeley just released a 1.5 billion parameter model using the DeepSeq method that beats OpenAI's O1 at math. We are in the era of tiny models using reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards to get models that are narrowly trained and better than their general knowledge counterparts. Just a couple weeks ago, I made a video about a team out of Berkeley that spent $30 to basically recreate the deep seek method of using reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards. And they were able to train it to become really good at a numbers game. And now we have a much more broad version of this application. This model, which is 1.5 billion parameters, small enough to fit on your phone and run really well, is better at all math, general math, the broad math category, than the O1 model. This video is brought to you by Reloom. Reloom is the only AI website builder built for design professionals and React developers. Effortlessly create sitemaps and wireframes in minutes using AI. Fully exportable to React, powered by Tailwind CSS. Try Reloom for seven days. I'll drop all the information down below. So check this out. Deep Scaler, this is what it is. 1.5B Preview is a language model fine-tuned from DeepSeq R1 Distilled Quen 1.5B using distributed reinforcement learning. So that's really interesting. Distributed, which I believe means they didn't just use one single cluster. They actually use clusters all over the world, potentially, to scale up to long context lengths. All right, so at the bottom, we have O1 Preview. Right here, we have Deep Scaler. And remember, O1 Preview is a massive Massive model. Deep Scaler is 1.5 billion parameters. Here's the AIM 2024 score, 43.1 best in class compared to O1 Preview, which is a 40. Math 500, same thing. Basically across the board, except for this one benchmark in which Quen 2.5, 7B1, Deep Scaler 1. So here's the important chart. This is the model size along the X axis on the bottom, 1.5 billion parameters. We could see deep scalar right there in purple. All the way on the other side is O1 preview. We don't know the size, but it's large. Then we have the accuracy on the Y axis and clearly in purple, deep scalar wins. Really impressive. I'm telling you, we are in the era of tiny models. So they continue to prove that reinforcement learning, even on small models, can reap enormous rewards. Now, interestingly, the reward function they used is an outcome reward model as opposed to the process reward model. Now, we've talked about that on this channel, but let me give you a quick reminder. So think about this. An outcome reward model means that the model is rewarded for getting the whole thing right or not if it gets the whole thing wrong. Now, if it gets certain steps right and then at the very end gets it wrong, it's still wrong. Now, in my opinion, the better approach is a process reward model, which you can actually reward the AI step by step. So if it gets the first five steps right, but it gets the final answer wrong, you could say, hey, you got these five steps right, but you got the final answer wrong. And that's what we're seeing here. So we have a problem. And at each step, there's kind of the smiley face, the sad face. Think about it as kind of the rewarding. And at each step, it got it right. But then at the final step, it got it wrong. So we could actually tell it step by step what it got right and wrong, which is better because it learns how to think about each step along the way. Now, here is a critical statement. I'm going to read this. Listen to this. A common myth is that RL, reinforcement learning scaling, only benefits large models. However, with high quality SFT data distilled from larger models, smaller models can also learn to reason more effectively with RL. That's what we showed with the deep sea cloned for $30 video. And that's what we're showing here. This is an incredibly powerful method that now DeepSeek exposed to the entire world. Everybody's taking advantage of this now and seeing it's very efficient and very inexpensive to get these techniques working with small models. So they were able to achieve this with just 3,800 A100 GPU hours, which is a 18.42 times reduction as compared to DeepSeek R1, while achieving performance surpassing OpenAI's O1 preview with just a 1.5 billion parameter model. I can't stress how crazy this is. So imagine we have a bunch of these tiny models running around that are hyper-trained on very narrow tasks. Now, obviously this is not so narrow, this is general math, 
but we can get even smaller. Maybe we can get smaller than 1.5 billion parameters, maybe we can't, but also maybe we can train it for a lot cheaper even than this. In total, they spent $4,500 in the total training of this model to get better than 01 preview. And not only that, they open sourced it all. So you can download the model, download the weights, you can see the training pipeline, you can basically get everything and recreate it yourself. Now here's the model, it's a GGUF version, and for the full F32 precision, it's only seven gigabytes, easily offloaded into my GPU. But if you go down to the Q5 version, so a little bit of quantization, it's only one and a half gigabytes. Really, really easy to run. So I'm gonna download the Q5 version right now. All right, so we have it here, this is LM Studio. So I have one of the problems from the AIM 2024 math benchmark. Now, let's give it a try, thinking, this is so cool. And look how fast it's running, by the way. And I'm doing training in the background. This is all on my little M2 Mac. And that's what you get with a tiny model. And this is the quantized version, so keep that in mind. Okay, it is doing so much thinking. <laughs> look at all of this. All right, so we got the final answer. I don't believe it's actually right, but still impressive because look how much thinking it did. And again, this model only gets like a 43% accuracy rating against this benchmark. So it's possible it got it wrong in the actual benchmark as well. But look how much thinking there was. Look at all of this. It used 21,000 tokens to think through this. That's 44 tokens per second at the same time as I'm recording, at the same time as I'm doing separate training in the background. Very, very impressive. We now have an incredible math model running locally, and you could even get it working on your phone. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.